Okay, today we're going to learn how to take the Laplace transform of a cosine function. So we are given f of t is equal to cosine omega t u of t. So let's put it in f of s. f of s equals the integral of 0 to infinity cosine omega t u t e to the negative s t dt. u of t is equal to 0 for time less than 0 and 1 for time greater than 0. This integral is evaluated from 0 to infinity, so it'll equal 1. So it's equal to the integral of 0 to infinity cosine omega t e to the negative s t dt. Using Euler's identity, we know that cosine theta is equal to e to the j theta plus e to the negative j theta over 2. So this is equal to 0, the integral of 0 to infinity, e to the j omega t plus e to the negative j omega t all over 2 times e to the negative st dt. Next, let's combine these exponentials. e to the a times e to the b is just e to the power of a plus b. So knowing this, we can say this is the integral from 0 to infinity times 1 half of e to the j omega t minus st plus e to the j omega negative j omega t minus st dt. To take the integral of this, it's 1 over 2 times 1 over j omega minus s e to the j omega t minus st plus 1 over j omega minus negative j omega minus st minus a times e to the negative j omega t minus st evaluated from 0 to infinity. So we need to keep in mind that the real part of this complex number is much greater than the imaginary when evaluating for infinity. So it's 1 half 1 over j omega minus s e to the negative infinity since s is negative 1 over negative j omega minus s e to the negative infinity. And for 0, we need to subtract 1 over j omega minus s e to the 0 plus 1 over negative j omega minus s e to the 0. So e to the infinity is just equal to 0, while e to the 0 is equal to 1. So this is equivalent to 1 over 2 times negative 1 times 1 over j omega minus s plus minus j 1 over j omega plus s. Let's find the common denominator. So this is negative 1 over 2 j omega plus s 
minus j omega plus s all over j omega squared minus s squared. We can get rid of the j omegas at the top, so it's negative 1 over 2 times 2s all over negative omega squared minus s squared. We can get rid of this negative from the top and bottom and the 2 from the top and bottom. So our final answer is just s over omega squared plus s squared, and that's the Laplace transform of a cosine function.